I don't want them to look like they second, third, fourth cousins removed either. Okay. <laughs> y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is raven and i'm a fashion stylist and content creator but on my channel i do fashion press on nails and a little bit of lifestyle in this video we're continuing the series of beauty at home honey and i'm eliminating these brows and doing a little brow tint now my stuff is already done and i feel like it worked okay but I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it first up I'm gonna be using this brow lamination kit from Amazon secondly I'm gonna be tinting my brows with this just for men beard tint I saw this on TikTok and was like let me try it I do want a disclaimer of I did these a few days apart because I just feel like laminating your brows is kind of like putting a perm on and I don't want to do that and then right behind that do the tinting but I feel like you could do this like 24 hours apart and you'll be fine. That's what I originally planned to do. Life started lifing and we ended up being days apart. Per usual, I'll link everything that I used in this video in the description box below. So let's get into the process of me laminating and tinting these brows. The kit comes with this adhesive, this lift lotion, this set lotion, and this conditioning oil. It also comes with a set of spoolies and applicators. For the lamination process, you will also need some saran wrap. I started with some witch hazel to remove any excess dirt and oil from my brows. I then took a spoolie to just brush my brows into place. This also helped me to find any excess hair that I needed to pluck. Step one is the adhesive. You apply the adhesive onto your brows. And then you use a spoolie brush to put them into place of where you want your brows to lay. Then you'll take the lift lotion, apply it to a flocked end applicator and apply it directly to your brows. You wanna apply an even layer over your full brow. And then you'll just repeat the process for the next brow. up any areas that you feel may need a little extra product then you'll add your piece of saran wrap around your entire head to make sure that your brows are laying flat honey okay and then you'll leave it on depending on how thick or thin your brow hair is mine was six to seven minutes okay so i realized i didn't video any of that first you're going to wipe off step one with a clean cotton round or cotton square like so like that then you're going to take another one of these like flocked in, that's what they call it. Sticks going with step two, which is set. Okay, I did it and applied it the same way. Put it on the applicator and then smoothed it on. Then you're gonna put your second clean saran wrap around. Okay, like so like that. Snatched in the back, okay? I'm gonna leave this one for about six minutes as well. Step three is condition, and just like in step two, you're going to take a clean cotton pad and wipe off any product from step two. Take one of the applicators and dip it into the conditioning solution. It's like an oil-based solution and just apply that all over your brows. Be sure not to get your brows wet for 24 hours. I then just used a spoolie to brush my brows into place and the lamination process is done. Now it's time to tint these brows. This is everything that comes in the Just For Men beard tinting system. I then brush my brows into place. I did do this after my skincare. I would suggest doing this before your skincare. First, let's read the instructions. We have to mix equal parts developer with color. And we're gonna take the back end of the brush that it comes with and just mix those two together. I used a flat tip eyebrow brush. You wanna take the dye and apply it directly to your brows. This helps you get a more precise application.
took a clean q-tip and cleaned up the edges of my brows on the top and the bottom. I used a clean nude q-tip for each brow, alternating the sides of the q-tip for the top and the bottom. You're gonna leave this on for about five minutes. As you can see, it's already getting kind of dark. At about three minutes, I did take off the front part of my brows just so they wouldn't get too dark. Now we're ready to wipe it off. Since I already did my skincare, I used this rose water toner to wipe off the excess dye and clean up around my edges even more. I did this on both sides. And this is the final product. My thoughts, it was less time consuming than I thought in my mind. And the brow tinting, I did think it was gonna come out a little bit darker, not gonna lie. It did say to wash your face after you did it, but I had already done my full skincare and I didn't feel like doing it again. So that's why I used the rose toner. And the second thing I used was some witch hazel, but there are way darker than they were i love my brows laminated when i tell you like my brows when i do my makeup everything it just comes out so much better and while i was tinting them i realized they was kind of two different shapes so i gotta get better at that okay because i was like Ugh, this is gonna be a little bit higher this is gonna be a little bit straighter it's gonna look a little crazy so definitely should be better at shaping your brows than i was okay because it wasn't coming out quite right glad that it wasn't as dark as i thought it was going to be because if it was then it would be way more noticeable that they was off okay again you know your brows are supposed to be like cousins not twins or something like that they said i don't want them to look like they second third fourth cousins removed either okay in the video i think i would take this middle part off like a little bit sooner i did three minutes Maybe I would do like two, two and a half minutes instead of three minutes next time. But I'm definitely going to keep this up in my beauty routine. It just makes my face look more put together, especially when I'm not wearing makeup. So it's one less thing that I got to do, fill in the brows and all of that stuff. I'll leave in the comments because this video is going up like right after I do this, how long it lasts. So I'll let you know, like I'll give you like a week update. So I wanted to film this little insert video. This is the next day after I did my full skincare and washed my face. What is going on with these lights? Anyways, I do wish that it was darker towards the ends. Like, of course, my hair looks a lot darker and it looks more fuller, especially in here because I have a lot more hair right there. But I do wish that it like tinted my skin a little bit more. Like I saw some of the girlies and I felt like it tinted their skin. It didn't do that for me probably because my eyebrows were or like the skin underneath i had just done my skincare so next time i'm not going to do my skincare first like i stated earlier and i should have better results with the dye staying like on my skin as well as on the hair and again i'll be sure to link everything in my description box below since you've made it this far you might as well join the tribe of baddies on a budget honey and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time i post a new video and you might as well follow me on ig and tiktok until next time y'all watch this video this pick specifically for you